So our athletes have walked onto the field of play this morning. We are joined. This is the compound junior category, bronze. And we're joined by number one seed from Norway, Sonova Lestevang. And then we have the third seed, Sadie Tesha from USA. So I can imagine they're uh, a little bit nervous, big stage in front of everybody. Cameras, light, action. Yeah, the athletes know they've got to uh, be ready for the first shot. So if you can get a, a good end to start, then it just helps you relax and get into the match straight away. It gives you a big advantage. Ten points. That's a good start. That always calms the nerves when you see your area go into the ten on the very first shot. Nine. It was interesting, they, uh, the Norwegian's going from top to bottom and the American is going from bottom to top. Yeah, with the, the light um, from above, it's usual for the compounds with the really fat arrows to shoot bottom up to avoid the shadows. So son of a leading with 28 points over Sadie, 27. In the compound, it's cumulative scoring. Highest points being 10, the lowest being six. Um, God forbid if they miss, and I have seen that happen with uh, equipment failures. Yeah, it does happen. Um, these athletes, not quite the same standard that they were shooting at yesterday in their matches, so obviously the nerves are coming out. Yeah, it was, uh, the past two days have been absolutely packed with like three sessions each day, starting on Friday and Saturday, um, and then they all qualify, so they take the top 32, and then they have their brackets and they have their head-to-head -head matches yesterday. So these athletes have woken up this morning, and hopefully they've got the same feeling and the same form that they had yesterday that um, got them competing very, very well yesterday. Yeah, they've had probably half an hour, 45 minutes of warming up in the, in the warming up room, which we won't be able to see from here. No, they're very lucky that we've uh, got this facility. It's a, it's a handball arena, and uh, the athletes are practicing in another hall right next door to the finals field of play here. So it's not far for them to go, and it's a it's a good transition for them, especially if you shoot ten in the in the in the practice, in practice hall, and then you come here and shoot a ten. That's a that's a good sign. Although interestingly enough, in that practice hall, the light is very orange compared to in here, so that might affect the athletes. So it's a nine star. They can't quite see if it's touched the line or not to get those ten points. Good response from Sonova. Ten points. Look, looking like Sadie's uh, zoning in now. Looking a bit more comfortable. Oh, y you can really see how much she was shaking on that shot. Really that nervous. That surprised her a bit. Yeah, you can see the nerves there. 
it's such a shame because yesterday they were shooting ever so well. 148, 146, those kind of scores. But it's different in qualification. You're you're on the line on your own. Um, there is a time element to it, but you can get a rhythm. Whereas here, it's dictated to by your opponent as to when you can shoot. Yes, yes, because they've they've got to alternate shoot, um, and they only get 20 seconds per hour. Where well, in the, the regular match play, they get two minutes to shoot their three hours in whatever rhythm they like. Well, it's a different environment because no one else is doing anything while you're doing your shot, whereas in qualification you've got another hundred archers that are also shooting at the same time, whereas here nothing happens while you're shooting your arrow. <laughs> So Tesh is leading 56 to 55 for uh, Liz Levan. So both athletes are in uh, a good chance of winning this match. They just need to refocus and start again. Yeah, compounds uh, favor the aluminium arrows for indoors. These are very, very fast bows, very accurate. She likes that top target face. She's hit 10 every time up there. They're all square at the moment. 65 points each. one to finish on. Nine. Nine you could see on that last shot by Tesh, just before the arrow went, her left hand dropped just a tiny bit and bobbed back up. And for those that are not archers, I mean, they, these bows are quite heavy to physically hold, let alone pull back, but they're quite physically heavy to hold. And they are. Um, but if you push the, the riser towards the target, then that can get rid of that effect of the weight in the hand. Sorry about that, we yep. had a small sound problem. Okay, so into the third end, Liz Levan now has the lead by one point to Tesh. Liz Levan shot an impressive 5.87 in qualification, giving her the top seeding position. Sadie, the third seed, shooting 580. So they're pretty matched. Ten. That was a really good shot. She's a lot, a lot steadier. It's a good, to, good response to your opponent to say, hey, I'm still here. Ten. Again, hitting that top target right in the 10. 10 points. Lot of movement there. She might have got away with it. She fought well. She's out of breath. <laughs> I thought we were going to have our first 30 of the of the day. 29, still impressive. 
plenty down there. Impressive shooting there. They're calming out. So I see there's some dialogue here for some from some of the coaches. Generally, what do you think they're uh, they're saying? They might give a little bit of feedback about the shooting, but generally they talk about the future, like what you need to focus on in the next shot. Um, or sometimes they even talk about something totally unrelated to archery, just to help settle the nerves. Just to have a little laugh really helps. Yeah, a smile and a chuckle always uh, brings down the, the heartbeats and the breathing. So if there are any budding juniors or adults out there, the Indoor World Cups are open entry, so as long as you are a member of a valid club that is uh, uh, linked to your member association of World Archery, you too can shoot at one of the four stages um, that the Indoor World Cup consists of. We started off in Marrakesh back in November of 2017, and we went into Bangkok in December, and then this is the third stage, Nimes in France, and then there's a fourth stage in Vegas. Entries are still open for everybody. We have a professional category there in, in Vegas, um, as well as an amateur status. So if you've been shooting for six months, or 50 years, as some of the uh, entries have, um, it's open to everybody. Your chance to shoot with the best in the world. Compare yourselves. Okay, so this is the last end. And Tash, just coming down there, is trailing by two points. So I think Lissavan must have had a 30 on the last end. <laughs> That's a good start to the end. They had very little time there to get that arrow away. It's one thing getting a lead, it's another maintaining it and closing the match. It's easier to fight for your points when you're behind. Sometimes when you're winning, it seems a little bit too easy. <laughs> Okay, so a 10 to win. This is where all the mental training comes in, the rehearsals, the practicing. Mm. And she got it, Excellent. wow. A lot of shaking, a big smile. Congratulations to Lisa van der Norway. Just wait for the compilation on the score for Tesh. No denying who the winner is, but the judge is obviously looking at that top arrow of Tesh to find out if it's a 141 or a 140. But either way, it won't have a bearing on the match result. 